programming is one of the hardest things that you can do in your life. And if you're watching this, then odds are that you're probably a really smart person. Make sure you full screen the video so you can hear all the details. I don't know why, but a lot of people get the impression that programming is really easy. If I could tell you a story, I struggled a lot in computer science trying to learn programming. I took an intro to Python class and I failed what was literally the easiest class anyone could take as a CS major. On top of that, there's just way too many things to learn in computer science. It got a lot worse when I was studying deeper concepts like recursion, pointers, dynamic programming. It was taking me days and weeks to study concepts where I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I remember struggling so much that I thought about dropping out of my CS major. I was asking myself, why is this so damn hard? I don't know why I put myself through the pain of programming for so long. After that, I thought I would never be a software engineer. I thought it was just hard for me. But it wasn't until I got into Google where a senior engineer just tells me that programming is hard in general. It's hard because you're being challenged. It took me four years of programming to learn this. That programming is hard because we like to challenge ourselves. When you're coding and programming is so hard, how do you stay motivated? I really want to emphasize that from everyone I've met working at all of these tech companies, that programming was hard for everyone. The only difference between someone who's just starting out and a professional programmer was just their mindset trying to handle all these hard problems. They're motivated to build great things, whether it's for themselves or someone else. I learned that programming is hard no matter what stage you're at, and there's a lot of things that make it difficult. But first, I really wanna help you and just talk about how you can stay motivated when you're coding. If you like this video so far, make sure you subscribe. To start off, you should be building the things that you wanna build. We're so used to doing coding for school and assignments just to get a good grade. And for work, we're trying to code more for our deadlines and to make sure that we're not underperforming. Not that I would know anything about that. When we're so used to coding for all of these stressful things, we forget what makes it fun to build things that we want to build for ourselves or for someone else. All these cool little like gadgets and knickknacks that we could do with code. Go work on that app that you want to start. Go learn that language you want to learn. There's something about coding that you do enjoy and you have to give yourself the time to write those programs. Coding is supposed to feel like an interesting puzzle not a stressful headache. And when things get hard, take a break from coding. Take a break, stretch your legs. One of the best ways to solve a bug is to take a break. One of the best ways to take a break is to go to sleep. If you've ever wondered why all these tech companies offered so many snacks, it's so these engineers can get out of their chair, walk over to the micro kitchen and grab a snack so they can think about their problems and solve their bugs. They're still debugging really hard problems. They're just giving their brains a chance to relax and de-stress. If you want to stay motivated, you have to focus on the process, not the progress. And what that really means is to just be appreciative about how much time that you spent working on something. I know in terms of coding, we think a lot about how many Git commits they we push? How many leak hood problems did we solve? But for me, I always felt demotivated when I didn't hit my goals. I blamed it on things on like not having enough time and not trying hard enough or not working fast enough. I blamed myself for not reaching my goals. But I'm going to share a secret with you as an engineer. Everyone has goals, but the difference between people who accomplish them and people who don't is just how they're trying to achieve them, what process they're following. If you spent two hours working on something, even if you didn't figure it out, That's still really awesome. You spent two hours working on it. You effectively know more than when you first started. Everyone has goals. The only difference is what process people are following to achieve them. But if we want to make it easier for ourselves, we really have to understand what makes it so hard. I want to start by saying that it's easy until it's not. If you remember your first programming class, there's a little snippet of code that everyone learns. And don't worry if it's been a while since you've seen this. Print hello world. This is literally the easiest line of code that anyone could write. If this is still confusing you, then I don't know what to say. I can't help you. Anyways, I bring this up because there was a point in programming where it was understandable. It was easy. It was doable. It's just that we kept learning until it wasn't easy anymore. Until we started challenging ourselves and we started trying to learn more than we were able to handle. And by that, I mean there's a lot of content that builds on previous concepts. I can't traverse a tree if I don't understand recursion. That's the example I'll use to bring us into our next point. There's a ton of abstract concepts. In computer science, there's so many things that we're learning for the first time and our brains just can't comprehend everything we're learning. You might not know this, but almost the entire internet is now hosted in the cloud. And that's just a really fancy way to mention that this website is just hosted in the middle of nowhere. 
That example might be easy to understand now how I explained it, but there's just way too many examples where there's a ton of topics that we can't physically imagine. And what makes it so much worse is that all of these abstract concepts build on top of each other. You can't understand a leak code problem on a tree if you don't know what a node is. You don't know what a node is if you don't understand what an object is. You can't build an object if you don't understand what variables are. If you haven't noticed already, programming is hard because we're learning everything everywhere all at once. It's changing every day. There's just so many topics to learn from. There's front ends, back ends, databases, caches. There's just too much that's overwhelming everyone. 15 years ago, we were talking about mobile apps. Now everyone is talking about machine learning and chat GPT. And even if you wanted to build a mobile app, a to-do app, you're going to have to learn so many things, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a mobile framework, how to actually like put this on the app store. There's just too much information to handle all at once. Listen, a coworker would tell me that programming isn't hard, not because we're learning too slow, but because we're learning too fast. Slowly learn one topic at a time and understand that well before you move on to the next one because everything builds on top of each other. The next thing I'll say about programming is that it's a solo activity. It's something that you're usually doing alone. I miss those days in college when we're up late at night eating instant noodles or some unhealthy DoorDash meal. And we're coding late into the night, listening to lo-fi music, anime music, or something else. And it was just me and the computer against the world. It's one of the most relaxing feelings you could have in the world. And if you know, you know. But when you get to that point where you're stuck on a bug and you're all alone, that's where things get stressful. There's no one to call and no friends or family to help you out. That code you've been writing for the last few hours, you have such a unique problem that only you know how to solve it. If I can explain this a little more, there's a little quote about life to never be the smartest person in the room. Because if you are, then you have no one to learn from. But if you're the only person coding in your room, then you're programming harder than you should be. Join communities, work with people, keep each other motivated. Programming doesn't have to be a single player game. It's one of the hardest subjects you can learn. You're doing it because you're challenging yourself. The last thing I'm going to say is obvious. Coding is hard because it is hard. It's hard because you're figuring everything out on your own. It's hard because you're learning. And learning is supposed to be hard. If you were doing anything else, it would probably be 10 times easier than learning how to code. But you're still choosing to learn, and that's because you like to challenge yourself. And the thing about challenges is that people get through them. And you will too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.